everybody, Shane here with an explanation video to that import save data feature. Basically, it works by using a New Game Plus feature by... Let's see if I can remember his name. It's Procrastination. Yes, Procrastination. It essentially uses New Game Plus in a different game to keep all your data, oop, hit my pop filter, keep all of your data, and that's how Harold knew Spark, even though he was brought back to level 1, and I'm going to show you how that was a thing. Basically, uh, let's explain the actual, oh, hello, something happened, status should be over here. Basically, with Procrafting Nation's New Game Plus, uh, you can use custom text for that menu. As you saw, I used import save data. It would otherwise read New Game Plus. Display mode, uh, there is the option to have it always there or only there when available. So if I didn't import, like physically import, that I like I showed you, oh, I just loaded the internet. You don't need that. So yeah, as you saw, I physically moved my save data from the game one into the game two. Now you'll have to do that with your game. There's no automatic way to do that. But there the way the way it works is this game complete switch. It if if on then the game that the physical game will know to create that menu option. And then new game plus mode switch is the switch that turns on to say that this is a new game plus, or for me, imported save. So go back to game one, and you have these two things that I interacted with. Uh, carry on the adventure in game two, yes, control game beaten, one, and then have your credits. Then I have a save menu, and then immediately return to title screen. This is important, you have to have, if new game plus mode is off, Basically, you also have to know that you are creating a game to be imported into another game. That way it works. Elsewise, you'll get something weird. Like, what if in one game you have option switch to, uh, that's the default, you have it as something else. Then if you load it into another game because you think it'll work, you may not because of the way that it, the switches function. Say switch 2 is like your timekeeping device if on time starts ticking and then you put it over in game 2 then it will automatically assume that you're in imported data and like a lot of things can go wrong. I hope that makes sense. And then same thing with the monster. Uh, you have a tertiary switch Monster was beaten, you defeat it, but then go into game two, and this is fun. These two switches in unison make this image appear that says, A cross was placed here to celebrate a victory. Because Monster 3 switch, you could have beaten it, but it's this thing, is the new game plus switch. That ensures that you're importing it from the other game. You know, it may not even be necessary to have this because the switch is going to be activated anyway, but it's just to keep it for sure imported. You know, you probably don't need this anyway. The one, the one thing that you really do need it for is this conditional branch. Because remember in game one, if it is off, because it will always be off because you didn't hit that menu icon, menu option to turn it on, then it'll boot you into the title screen automatically, no matter what. Though, there is this in game two. If it is on, then it'll reset your level to level 1, and then it'll send you to the beginning of the game of your designation. For me, I have one map, so it's no big deal. Then 
to deactivate this, that way it doesn't affect your game in any way, just self-switch. And then fade in screen, and then tet screen. Uh, I accidentally used tet screen to black as an effect, then had to reload it. Anyway, just make it visible. However, there is a slight condition. Yeah, game two plugin that I added myself. Open. I made it so that when you hit that menu icon, it actually... Oh, this is the soul board one. That's not the one I want. The... Yeah, the Soul Pour one is the New Game Plus feature that is an actual New Game Plus, not used for the important save data. So I used my coding knowledge to be able to do this. Basically, this is the part of code that creates that menu icon and gives it a function. And whenever you hit that menu option, it turns on this one switch but I also needed it to start and fade out. That way, there isn't a blinking in and out. It just starts in black, it goes through the reset of the level, and then it fades in where you need to be. Because otherwise, if you had two maps, say this map and then another map, if you're finishing your game in that second map, you would load in that second map, but if you want your game, uh, the second game at least, to start in map 1, but you're in map 2 at the end of the other game, you have to make that switch. Or, wording is hard. You have to make that transport from map 2 to map 1 to make it seem like the game is new and you've just imported save data. And that's what you did. Monster beat. You beat the monster in the first game. The switch carried over because it's still on, according to the save data. So there. But yeah, again, new game plus mode, that switch is the only thing you actually need to use it for. It's to ensure that whenever you're hitting continue, it's going to loop you out and send you back to the title screen. And if it's on, it's going to make you play a whole new game. Now, I would absolutely love to see this in an an actual game, but I don't have time with uh, work and my own personal projects, but feel free to use this method of creating import save data, because I have seen a lot of people ask how to do it, and I figured why not just think about it, why not actually just make a tutorial, I guess? I don't know. I'm not very active in forums, I don't quite like them, but videos I, I do like making. So please, somebody, use this method. I don't care if you credit me, but please at least credit Procrafty Nation. and if you use SoulPoor777's New Game Plus, credit them as well. Alright, so as I said, I'm Shane, and I'm going to end the video.